I had to answer 97 questions about uh, my Facebook. Yeah. At <laughs> my Thanksgiving. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. That made its way to net positive comment sections. Did so, it? Yeah. Oh, man. Just a... Uh, it was funny to me the amount of people who didn't immediately realize you were hacked. Yeah. Like, there were some people yeah. that were like, hey, John, what's up with your yeah. <laughs> Facebook story? That? You think I posted that? <laughs> yeah, like, what? It's a little bit of a... Uh, 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 all right, well, you want to tell the story how it happened? Please do, because everybody did. I'm curious. I have everybody, no idea. Well, all right. So you know who Candace Cameron is? Good to go. Run it up. Oh, load it up, baby. Net positive. Episode 82. Can you believe it? Back from the Thanksgiving break. Is it 80? Wait, am I wrong? Is it 83? Episode 83. My fault. Oh, my fault. My come fault. on, my dude. Fault. I run the edits. Edits. Dude, we got uh, fact the checks off the jump, off the numbers. 83, baby. Uh, John Christ in the studio with you live. Um, Andrew and Alex. Yo, yo, yo. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> in, everybody. <laughs> Uh, headed out this weekend to Abilene, Texas. A uh, second tier Texas city. Uh, you know, Abilene the is? The Texas starting lineup. You'd give it second tier? Sixth man. The <sighs> Texas starting lineup is Dallas. Yep. Houston. Yep. San Antonio. Yep. Austin. Yep. Maybe Abilene's making it. No, Abilene. Fort no. Worth? Yeah, Fort Worth if that counts as two. But I go to all these like second tier, all, the Texas cities, and yeah. they're the best. Yeah, I guess it is second tier. They're the ones that got those honky tonks. Mm. They got the real ones. Yeah. Texas. And then we got uh, four shows in Phoenix, Arizona mm -hmm. this weekend. Uh, San Antonio, Austin, Beaumont, third tier for mm. sure. Uh, <laughs> sold out, though. 12th, man. Yeah, 12th. <laughs> but they're on the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Baton Rouge ending ending the fall tour in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Operator put me on through mm -hmm. January. Charleston, Columbia, Wilmington, Nashville, Tennessee. Two shows sold out. Actually, one the second one's got a couple of tickets. We might add a third. Nice dude. February Greenville, Knoxville, Huntsville, Amarillo. Oh, mm, second tier. Wichita Falls. Mm, mm, we're good. Lubbock, <laughs> Lubbock? I, think, I don't know. I think dude. All these, the, these, I mean, they're on the team. It's a deep sec. It's a deep bench it's a in Texas. Deep sec yeah, yeah. The Texas really deep. deep bench. Yeah, yeah. good Cause depth. It, I mean, it, let's think about that. Think about Tennessee. You go in Nashville. Yeah. Knoxville. Right. Memphis. Yeah. Chattanooga. Oh, you know we got a strong lineup. We do. Have, oh, that's actually a good. We got a five city starting lineup. Which, yeah, I mean, California wins, right? By default. I mean, they got this. There's just such a range, right? Yeah, because they have L.A., yep, San Diego, yeah, San Francisco, San Francisco, Oakland, Oakland, Sacramento, mm -hmm. the Bay. I mean, there's the, every, there's seven cities around the Bay. Yeah, you got north, south, and then you go, yeah, San Diego. They probably, I think they probably win. Florida might be close. Florida, you go Orlando, Miami. They got a range, yeah, because California can find whatever you want, right? Conservatives, liberal, uh, you can go uh, snow. Snow up, beach, up top, yep. yep. Snow, beach, desert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got to be California. Wine country. Yeah, got to be California. Yeah. We trash on California a lot. Mm -hmm. They win this. They win that one. They win that. I mean, yeah, Seattle, but no. No, no I mean, Washington, they got – no. Uh-uh. Ohio? I think it's Cali and Florida, man. Oh, Cali, Florida, Ohio, Texas would Ohio. be mine. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> the Geo from the top row, Ohio. Ohio, the, Hold on. the only competitor to California. <laughs> Hold on. We got Columbus. We got Cleveland. Uh, sleeper. Cincinnati. Uh -huh. Columbus. Mm -hmm. Dayton. Yeah, Dayton's a good little college town. Bowling Green. No. No. Cedar Point. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. the, the best city in I think you Ohio go. doesn't even come close to the... Worst city in LA, dude. I kind of yeah. like. I gotta. Def I'll defend I Cleveland. Could, I like Cleveland. And, well, uh, New York falls apart very quick. It falls apart. Yeah. I mean, they got the number one draft pick, but uh, then where yeah. you going? Albany, Syracuse. Right. You're done. Yeah. Buffalo. You're done, dude. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> they can't. They, they're. That's like LeBron James in his first run in Cleveland. <laughs> he's, he's looking down there. He goes, "Dude, can y'all help me at all? Can y'all help me at all?" I got freaking Richard Jefferson or whoever can't put up three. 
What about what about Georgia? RJ catching straight. Right yeah, now. he's like, well, I don't need to be a part of this. <laughs> what? I'm a Hall of Famer. Dude, let, think about this lineup: Atlanta. <laughs> You're gonna keep Hold for on. Georgia right now. <laughs> Hold on, Atlanta, Augusta, uh huh, Savannah. Good, by the way, good once a year. Yeah, Augusta. They have they come in off the bench and score forty, and then they're yeah. like, what happened? Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they put up forty points in no twenty five minutes, and that's it. Nowhere to be seen. Macon, nah, it's not good. Uh-uh. Uh, Savannah, S- yeah, sure. Alpharetta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, yeah, good point. Good point. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go California, Florida. Yep. No, California. Well, Texas. I'm with. I think it's California, Florida, Texas, Texas. Ohio. <laughs> Ohio I mean, I don't think no. Well, who else are you gonna put in? It's funny. And I grew up in Michigan. We're missing some, but we're we, missing something. Yeah, we have to be. We make fun of Ohio as like the worst state in the country. Okay. I think the rest of the country does that too. I yeah. don't think it's just you guys. I'm pretty sure a lot of us play that John's game. John's out here. I think it's in the top four. <laughs> Wait, y'all got Detroit. Grand Rapids. I'm not voting for Michigan. Okay, you're okay. Yeah, I, I thought you're you're like I thought you're gonna defend. Them. I'm not gonna vote for Massachusetts either because that's Chicago. I yeah, not. no, but everything else falls apart. Tennessee's top five. We're not bad. Yeah, we're not bad. I we're above Ohio. Pigeon Forge. Yeah, we're above Ohio. Oh, did we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tennessee for sure. We're yeah. so we're fourth. We got to be fourth. California, Florida, Texas, Tennessee. Because think of Ohio. Yeah. California's got to be number one because you think about it, like franchises and professional sports. That's franchises. exactly why I came up with that. We got For sure. Nashville, but we don't have all of them. We don't have baseball. Right. And then Memphis has NBA. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, and then the colleges, I guess Knoxville, mm-hmm. Atlanta, only one. I'm trying to think of states that have multiple sports franchises. Professional. Like big time. They're all, uh, yeah, Pennsylvania. Mm-mm. Uh, Baltimore, yeah, Philly, Baltimore, yeah, Philly, yeah. Pittsburgh. Well, but wait, uh, Pennsylvania. Wait, I'm so dumb, dude. Baltimore's in Pennsylvania. Baltimore, no. Maryland. I'm okay, yeah. <laughs> I fly I in like, there. Wait a second. I fly the, in there. You can't do the East Coast because Lancaster. <laughs> too many. Cities. Oh, Washington. No, Virginia. I think we saw. I think we got it. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Sugarland, then we're going to in March. We're going to Mobile. <laughs> I forgot we were doing dates. New Orleans, Sugarland, Royal Oak. That's in Detroit, Fort Wayne, Peoria. These are all third tier cities. Buffalo, Toronto, <laughs> Canada can be a whole Canada a whole could, country. Yeah, Canada can play. Mm-hmm. Uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, Durham, Macon, Georgia. Like I said, unbelievable. Chattanooga, April. Let's just do the whole thing. Rochester, St. Paul. Duluth, San San Jose, Santa Rosa, Redding. Forgot about that one. Great. Dayton, Lexington. It's got to be California. It is California. Yeah, hands down. And and we're we're also keeping in mind how trash what they've done with their with their resources. Yeah, they've gotten lazy. They've messed it up. Yeah, but it's still number one. Yeah, they got like they got to the league. They got that big like they're off their rookie deal. They They got got that big big paycheck, and now they're just kind of like they got and they know they have the natural ability with the weather. Right. They go. Well, I don't have to work out right. in the offseason. I'm going to go just b- b- with my athletic ability, put up 30. They're just resting on their laurels. Lord, I mean, you can Lord. go straight from the <laughs> – It's a hard one to say. Relate, uh, who's the NBA player that's the most like California? I mean, off the top. Well, it would be – yeah, I guess it would be a team, but yeah. Not- Wemben Yama. You, you think Wemby? No, no, no. Oh, I was like, <laughs> dang. I mean – Zion? No, but he's always injured. Oh, he's always injured. Oh, That's wow. why you're making that comparison. Yeah. I mean, you James can go, Harden. Got to be Harden. Oh. No, but he hasn't won any championships. California's been winning championships. Oh, so it's got to be somebody who's put up numbers. Uh, Steph. Right. Because he goes, he goes. this guy, you watch him at his best, and you go, no one can compete with that. Yeah. No one can compete with that. Any of the young guys coming up? No, nah, it's got to be a guy that has championships. Yeah. It's got to be Steph. Because you can go from skiing to the beach. Right. There's no one Same else. Day. <laughs> Same day. Yeah. It's a five tool player. And see both from each yeah. other. Like you can and see the mountains. Like, Dude, I'm and in my bikini. City. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I'm in a parka. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> Let's in go an over hour. there. <laughs> Joshua Tree. Yeah. Burning Man. That's like a different country. <laughs> yeah. And then they got like the red suburbs, right. like Anaheim. Orange County, then mm-hmm. San Diego, I Anaheim, dude. San Diego, and they got all this. Yeah, California. Yeah, you got it. Good job, Cali. Good job, you guys got one. Guys. I never thought we'd give you props uh, on this show, but now here we're here. We are. We are. We, equal opportunity. Yeah. Uh, sure. This week's episode brought to you by AG1, baby. Been a part of millions of mornings since 2010. True. Ah, what was going on in 2010? 
2010, um, I was... I was not a comedian. I, I was 17 started. years old, 18 years old. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Where were you living? Just living back in Massachusetts. When AG1 getting ready to started and you were going out. Yeah, yep. just chilling. Uh, foundational nutritional supplement <laughs> that delivers comprehensive nutrients for the whole body health, baby. My mornings were way worse back then, I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah. You could have used AG1. Absolutely. <laughs> I was malnourished. AG1 replaces your multivitamin, probiotic, and more with one drinkable habit, dude. They can't get us, dude. They can't take these ads out of here, baby. No. Yeah. See, Andrew? Uh, one scoop of powder <laughs> mixed with water, AG1, gives you increased energy. Need that. Mood support. Need it. I'm feeling good today, but I could use it at other times, uh, making it easy to live your best life. Um, thank you, Joel Osteen. Mm. Anyone who says live your best life, is that's that's Joel's. He, so he really, like you've credited him with that before. He That's really him? He wrote a book called Live Your Best Life. It wasn't a saying before that? No. Dang. Everybody has it. Ben Rector stole it. No, wow. he didn't steal it's it. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Live in my best life. Uh, if you're looking for a simpler, more effective investment for your health, try AG1 to get five free AG1 travel packs, baby. Plus a free year supply of vitamin D uh, that'll help you when you have COVID. That's in there. <laughs> It's not in there. It's not in there. <laughs> With your first the purchase, joke. dude. You were? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Dang it, dude. Uh, go to drinkag1.com slash net positive. Drink AG1 slash net positive or the, hit the link in the episode. Ep the script. I like that we've been doing like, the same ad copy for them forever and we still find yeah, we still find, well, stuff, find in stuff in there. It's amazing. Yeah, well, they, it's like they the come. Bible, dude. It yeah. is just Dang, like the Bible, dude. dude. AG1 ad copy is just it's like, like the, the Bible. It's like the Bible, yeah. bro. Uh, we gas these copywriters up so much. I know the most. They're gonna come. We're gonna meet him one day. He's like, dude, I'm the copywriter. He's like, I got a raise because of you, man. Uh, all right, have we talked? Um, uh, we are charting in. Yes. Uh, the 96th podcast. Oh, top 100. Have we done this before? I don't know if we've done this country before. Nicaragua. No, never done Nicaragua. No, I don't think we have. Where my Nick Gar's at? Right, where That's Theo's Theo dad's joke. from. That's a Theo joke. I know. <laughs> and he's like, I know. I'm just scared. Nicaragua. Hold on. That's the Theo's joke. Yes. That's and if that's well, that was the only thing I know about Nicaragua. Is Just Theo's that joke. <laughs> <laughs> um beautiful weather. Nicaragua. Yep. Nicaragua. Yep. Yeah. There are beautiful people. Beautiful people. Um Central America or South? Andrew? Uh ooh, Central? No. I think, I think they're Central. I don't know. Yeah, there's I'm only gonna, like I'm four countries. A, there's only like four countries in South America. I'll they make a central. big blanket statement. They yeah. all love to smoke cigars. My, oh uh, yeah, the cigars. There you go. My neighbor growing up was from there, and he would absolutely chief cigars. Oh chief. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. The cigars, Nicaraguan cigars. They're next to Cuba. They probably got the same industry down there. They have uh, volcanoes there. Is it volcanoes. South America or Central? It's Central. Central. You got it. Yes, dude. Yep. Oh yeah, and that Costa Rica's down there. They speak Spanish. Yeah. Their dialing code is 505. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to come down there. Yeah. What else? Shout out to the people in Nicaragua. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for listening. We just got back from uh, Thanksgiving. How'd it go, man? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I had to answer 97 questions about uh, my Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> At my Thanksgiving. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. That made its way to net positive comment sections. Did so. it? Yeah. Oh, man. Just a... Uh, it was funny to me the amount of people who didn't immediately realize you were hacked. Yeah. Like there were some people yeah. that were like, hey, John, what's up with your yeah. <laughs> Facebook what's up with story? That? You think I posted that? <laughs> yeah, like what? It's a little bit of a... Uh, uh, all right, well, you want to tell the story how it happened? Please do, It's because everybody... did. I'm curious. I have everybody, no idea. All right. It's a... I don't have to say this without without saying... this. It's like a a, a seven-figure piece of business. Facebook. Yes. Yeah, it's massive. For you? Yes. Yeah, it's huge. Yes. Oh, dude, I was going to make a joke about the only thing that shocked me about this whole thing was that you still had a Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Dude. I guess yeah. joke's on me. Well, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's huge. It is yeah. huge. And I don't really, to be fair, I don't really go over there much. I mean, I post the videos over there. Right. But people, when I go out, people are like, we know you, oh, dude, we love your TikToks. Right? We, right, that's a lot of it. We love your TikToks. We like the pod. We like the book. We've seen you live. I get a ton of dude. I love your Facebook videos. Right. Are you are you the guy from Facebook? Blows my mind because mm -hmm. I don't go. I don't hang over there. Yeah, I don't hang in the comments. I don't hang in the DMs. I don't think I don't even know how to get to them. Yeah, because one time I was going to try to post it and I couldn't even figure out how to post a comment. Yeah, I I don't. But I but that's the first one I ever started on. Yeah, so we're up to two point. 
eight million, which is a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people watch those videos. Uh, and so there, we got an email. So you know who Candace Cameron is? Yes, she's like a Christian podcaster influencer makes a lot of uh hallmark movies wait she in full house right yeah yeah i should have led with that i'm an idiot it's like lebron james from uh the nike commercials <laughs> uh kia built a school uh he's from akron yeah from the nba oh yeah yeah my bad uh yeah so we had been in conversation i'm don't want to overstep my friendship with her but i know her she hacked your face from a long time ago yeah for a long time ago uh we connect with each other back in like to the beginning of my comedy career. Cool. We've made, we're not, I never met her in real life. Okay. But anyway, we were talking about coming on her podcast and she was going to come out to my show in LA. Nice. In the DMs, like a month ago. Cool. I got an email to info at johnchriscomedy.com, which said, A, we're from Candace Cameron's podcast. We'd like to set up an interview with you. Okay. Which is not, it's a warm lead. Yeah, because oh, I sure. know her. Yeah, I, I, it's like a, yeah. <clears throat> so it's not like a, 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 a an Ethiopian prince that's like I'm going to send you ten thousand right. dollars. I like this. They go all right. So I sent it to my uh, publicist to go. Hey, um, here's a lead for the. You've been trying to get us on this. Maybe check this out. Yeah. Okay. So then my publicist sends back. Hey, they want to do it. At, they want to do it. Like if I ever go on Fox News to do a hit, they they. Uh, call me beforehand to get a uh, background, see if the audio works, see if the video's quality, see if your background's good, all that, see if your internet connection works. That's not uncommon. A pre, pre-call pre call. Like, if, yeah. So she sends me this link, Zoom. So it's me, my publicist, and another guy that's like, hmm. now that I look back on it, I see all these red flags. His, But you're thinking he's just part of Candace's team. Yes. For sure. Not his, a, that's not uncommon at all. No. Okay. And he goes, he goes, we, he was Indian or Indian or Russian or something. Is his camera on? Is his video? Or no. Is it audio? And <laughs> this is embarrassing. I'm not trying to make you look No, here. no. I, but to. looking back on it, I see like a million red flags. Yeah. His logo was the Facebook. <laughs> it was the Facebook logo. The Facebook logo was his logo. <laughs> was his. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> but he doesn't work for Facebook. No. So, you know, the, all the, uh, di- like, uh, the um, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Like, uh-huh. it, I go, this doesn't sound like a voice. This was in my head. Uh-huh. It, Candace Cameron's, like, public like pub- publicist. Or this doesn't sound like that person would be have this voice. Because they were using so many racial slurs on the call? No, or what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? They were like being like, they were like India, like broken English. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, but the thing is like. He thought Candace might have hired him just to check a box. Well, yeah. I, I <laughs> like, go, we need some no, more color I, I, on the I staff. Thought, Let's I get thought this to myself, guy. I go, I thought to myself, well, it's 2023. I'm not going to speak up and say, I thought it. I thought it in my head. Okay. I thought it. I go, huh? I'm rocking with you. Keep going. And I was the only one that had my screen on. Okay. So my publicist, but she never, she never does. She's just there to listen. And yeah. And he didn't have his, his Facebook logo. And he goes, thank you. I'm not going to do his voice. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Like, this is a great podcast. We're excited. Candace Cameron is going to talk about your accomplishments and your career. Now that I look back on it, it's very vague, okay. very and you're John Chris, and we're and she goes, we're, and he's like, we're gonna also pay you in the sum of three thousand dollars for the pot for the and that. Again, I was like, I texted my publicist. You know, when you're on a Zoom and you text, yes. you go, I go, hey, make sure you follow up with our business manager about that three thousand dollars because I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. You thought you were doing it for free? Yeah, but it's a podcast. Obviously, every right, nobody pays for podcast. They're, sure, yeah. So then he goes, we're gonna we're also gonna live stream this on Facebook. Uh huh. And he goes, we need to check your settings. And he took it right in front of me. Right in front of me. Just gave him the login. No, 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 no. I didn't oh. give him. No, I didn't. But I didn't give him anything because he goes, you need to add your your email. And he goes, that one's not working. Do you have another email that is associated with this account? And I put, and it's, it, they, he captured it on my, the keystrokes or somehow. I don't know how the back end worked, but I didn't put his email in or So anything. you logged in on your side? But, but like I was screen on a share? screen share Zoom. And showed him you logging in. Yeah. And, and the passwords were muted, but. And he grabbed it. You're kidding. Took it right in front of me. And it's, and, but I didn't Dang. think, but I didn't think anything of it during the call. He goes, That's, thank you so much. Everything's good. And then about, 
I was at the Need to Breathe concert about four hours later, and somebody says, are you sure? And they sent me the photo, and I knew exactly. I knew exactly. I go, <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it. I wanted to be like, honestly, if we meet like at, at, at center court, I'd be like, hey, you can't, Yeah, you got to take a cap. Yeah, good one. That's a Wait, good so scam. Yeah, great. When was the interview supposed to be with Candace? It was never. It was Candace Cameron's podcast no. at gmail.com. No, I know that, but like. It, <laughs> oh, it, this week. It was supposed to be this week. Oh, it, it was it's still on my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Took it right in front of me, dude. That's dude. That's a good scam. And I and I've seen. There's a bunch of influencers posting about the exact same thing. And he got to meet you. Yeah. And. <laughs> um. So have other people? <clears throat> wait. All right. A lot of questions. Yeah. One. What did they want? I. That's what we're not unsure of. Like because what was the point of that? Because they were just posting inappropriate uh, images on your story. And if like you all take stuff. the account, change the bank routing to you, right, and just let it run. Let it run, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't even know I wasn't in it. Literally, you can literally still keep me in it. Wow, you they could have stolen money for you for as long as you just didn't check the account sync. Yeah, that and you I wouldn't mean, that would have no gone a month or two. I mean, maybe three. I mean, my business manager. That's a good month. I mean, maybe I'd get an email that said you added this account. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, so they can't leave me in it. But but I don't know why. I don't know why. Because I go, it's wow. not my, you know, my aunts and uncles like, is it because you're Christian? Right. I go, no. Yeah, you're no. being persecuted yeah, for no, sure. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, no. Is it because you're clean? I go, no. I don't know why the photo. I mean, if you put pornographic photos, they'll remove your account. Right. Is but that what it was? No, it was like, it was just on the line to not be yeah. included as that. But it was shocking. They're very shocking images. Especially for your page. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but they probably do that to everybody. And I don't know why they, but they didn't, but we got the account back and they didn't, everything was still there. So are they like just agents of, <clears throat> excuse me, like agents of chaos? They just wanted to wreak and, havoc on your audience? I mean, we lost a half a million followers. That hurts. Are you that hurts. serious? That hurts. That definitely hurts. That hurts. How long were you locked out of it for? Five days, four Damn, days. That's a long four days. I was so like, you I went from two point what, what was two point eight to two point three. Dang! And Holy I, crap! I said, I told my, I said it's like watching. No disrespect, but it's like watching your house burn down. Yeah, you're standing in front of it. I've been building that. I mean, I don't have that much emotional connection to it. Sure. But no, it hurts though. Hurts. They didn't. Hurts. Did they reach out and make demands? Anything like that? No. That is so cute. I know, and it didn't delete any of the videos either. They're all still up. When and you go, you must have been like, "Oh my god, <laughs> we have everything still here." Everything. Like, you were you expecting just like D Day going in there and being like, "Oh, they ruined everything." Uh, well, okay, so no, Facebook is notorious, and everybody listening to this is going to understand this. Facebook has the, the 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 the. How do you say this? The customers of Facebook are the advertisers. Yep, they're the ones supporting Facebook. Yep, not us. Yep, we. All, we all have these pages for free. Right. And so there, everybody's like, dude, how'd you get your account back? How'd you get your account back? I lost my, I never got it back. Why would they? Right. Who, you, we, they don't, you put all your stuff up there. They don't owe you anything. For you though, they would want, they would want you to stay active because you give so many people content you that would keeps think them that. on the platform. You, you would, would think, think that. And yeah. I'm at 2.8 mil or was. I was but, surprised it took so long. Yeah. But we have, we, we, there's nobody over there. There's so many people that were like, dude, I have an admin of a page, like a you know, page and the, the admin died. Dang. Can we get. Yeah. Another person. He goes, no, the pages just die. Wow. Cause why, wh why would they employ thousands of people, million, tens of millions of dollars in salaries to help people? People are like, John, did you. Turn on two-factor authentication. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. He we gave did. it to him on a Zoom call. Yeah, I okay? gave it to him. Yeah. <laughs> but we. But what's more concerning, and somebody brought this up last night, is we had like a, for my agent to manager who like knew someone at Meta, and we like had to like threaten legal action vert through a lawyer. Be like, this is the amount of money that's yeah. at stake here. And somebody that knew somebody that knew somebody at Meta gave like just we're like what's the and and you're like what's the email associated with the account and i was like well that one's compromised and i made up a new one and then they sent it back to me which is also scary yeah because that person can just grab that one yeah, yeah. there was no there's it was just friend of a friend of a friend stuff mm -hmm. and that's how everybody anybody that get, ever gets one back is because of that yeah, yeah that's there's right. a couple Dude. of people i know like on 
and not no, I know of yeah. on Instagram that I know I can go to because that's what they specialize in. That's it's crazy. Back. It's nuts. Because what if you what if you were like, hey, Andrew, uh, he told me that like he wanted me to take over his like, or you had a right. good story. Yep. Or he said he's getting married, so he wants to give the net positive. So, and right. they were like, all right. We're like, no, wait, no, I didn't. That's so scary. It's sketchy. Yeah. That, that, that anyone can just get in there and do anything. Mm -hmm. But th I mean, dude, if it, I thought about just like more like of an existential thing, but like, well, what exactly do we have? <laughs> I don't want to do all this. Here we go. Dude. No, but like, you go, we, I, I, I have this career yeah. that is fun and mm -hmm. you do a lot of things, that, but, but, I burned that all to the ground yeah. in 2019 and, and went back to zero, mm -hmm. built it or here again. Facebook, you've been building it for 10 years. What if that just, what if it just, you looked up and go, I don't have it. Yeah. And Facebook goes, yeah, we merged with Instagram and we're, we don't have Facebook mm -hmm. or COVID. You go, yeah, you can't tour. Or what if podcasting, there's like some copyright thing where they, hey, it's Spotify. Yeah. And they would go, Spotify and YouTube go, hey, we can't. The the agencies shut us down. We can't do pop. Yeah, I, I dude, I know some people. If their Instagram got hacked and removed, Andrew's nodding like it would be over. For dude. sure, it would be over. Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, I like the uh, like when it comes to I, like identity is kind yeah. of what we're talking about. You'd be. Uh, I love the yeah. idea of like never place your identity in something that can be taken away from you. <sighs> can't that is in the bible you just can't That's if it's not be. they should add yeah. it but yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. like that like it's over dude. like and obviously we know like yeah put your course, identity yeah, in the Lord. yeah like, yeah, yeah 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 but yeah if you put it into your career into your socials it like it can all go away all of it at any time and that's where like my manager and he was he was maybe he's just trying to cheer me up and but but I, I bet a lot of this is probably true he's like this will have no Ticket selling impact on your career, yeah. Negative, no negative. Not. Yeah. So, all right. So what? So everybody would know this is this is not me. If you know anything about the internet, this is not me. Right. Okay. It will have no. I mean, those posts. You mean? Yeah. And yeah. we got it back. It was a significant hit. Mm -hmm. We we got injured. We're still playing. It have no financial impact that way. And you still can, it will have a financial impact, obviously, because the, the amount of the videos that get seen. Well, might, it might go less, but you could also argue those are 500,000 people that weren't active. Yeah, that's, those aren't your ride or dies. And uh, those are show, and that, that store was showing up number one for everybody, mm -hmm. by the way. Yep. Number one. So we're, we've yet to see what the effect of it all is. Yeah. But you go, why, why am I like going into depression? Mm -hmm. Why? I think I think it, uh, it that's goes back the to the house I'm trying thing. to ask. I think yeah, it goes yeah, back yeah, to the yeah, house yeah, thing. Yeah, like yeah. It, it is something you've worked your butt off for. Yeah. for over a decade. It's true. It is a a feather in the cap of your career. Yeah. So it does. You know what I mean? Like John Christ yep. on paper is yep. this on Twitter, this on TikTok, this yep. on Facebook. And, it is and, one of those. And so many, so many. Every room that I've gotten into in the last whatever of significance is because of that following. Mm -hmm. It is. That's mm -hmm. the reason why this podcast is great. That's the reason why the show sold out. Is every that's the reason everybody goes. Well, oh, how many how many followers does he have? Mm -hmm. So that is a source of yeah. yeah if you're looking at it, it like from a therapist or whatever, it is a source of my worth. Yeah, yeah. And definitely. if they said it's gone, I mean, I remember that feeling after I got out of rehab. You just walk around, yeah, and you're just like, dude, I don't even. Louis C.K., that he goes, all I got left is my birthday. Wow. <laughs> Dang, that's dark. All I got left is my birthday. To I, say I that it's like, that, like to, because people make the argument all the time of like, oh, it doesn't matter. They're like, social media numbers don't matter. Yeah. No, they matter no, professionally they matter. in a huge way. Uh, like they are everything. Professionally though. Yes. They do matter. Separated though, personally, yeah. yeah, they shouldn't matter. And it's hard to keep those separate. It's super hard, man. Yeah, that's the thing. Right? Especially I, when you are the brand. Like, I it's you this. as a person. It's yeah. not a company that you own. It's, yeah. this is you. This is me. Yeah, yeah. And that's a, yeah. That's wild, man. It's just a crazy, like, I go, I feel like an idiot, like, making this a big deal. 
No. But everybody on my team was like, this is the biggest deal ever. You know, my first thought was, what? thank God we're not logged into that account. That was true. <laughs> that was I my mean, true. first thought because that is so hard to deal with. It's so, it's, and it was, it was horrific. Yeah. But I mean, it's like a first world problem. Like, oh, like my buddy's like, how you doing? I'm like, I don't know, my Facebook got hacked. I'm not going to. Well, it's like identity theft kind of yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's the same type of deal. Yeah. Especially because then you start thinking about like, okay, if they, if they're in there. Yeah. Can they then get to other accounts as well? Yeah. Can they get to my bank? Yeah. Can you know what I mean? Like, stuff? And then that, but that's the identity stuff too. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, I've, I've, I got a car. I mm -hmm. got a house. Yep. Dude, you know what? This is a very strange angle at this. Is like a lot of people were like sending me the photos. Mm -hmm. Like in some kind of weird, like en not enjoyed looking at them, but like this is bad, these photos, and I want to, like, t t talk about it or, like, inter or they kept coming back to, like, see that, like... People you know or fans? Fans. Okay. And it's, like, it's like from a Christian standpoint, you're, like, I didn't go, like, log on to a porn site. Mm -hmm. It This just... I'm not... I'm not, it's not my fault. I'm, I I'm off. Stumbled the, upon? Yeah, it. I'm off the hook on this. Mm. So it's like, I didn't go look for it or I can't get in trouble. Ah, uh, you yeah. know? Yeah. E not even from a spouse or from, but from like the Lord. You're like, well, I didn't go. I didn't seek this out. I didn't seek this out. This came to my doorstep. But now that it's here, like, it's, I like. Oh, that's interesting. Chatting about it or like screenshot. Like, you're like, this is horrible and screenshot it and send it in an email. Like, well, now it's. Here forever. Yeah, you're distributing it now. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It was a weird, it was a weird, like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> Let me share it with you. I went back every hour to see what new was on there. <laughs> and I don't know. I I know that feeling. There's something there. Yeah. yeah I know that feeling of like oh, I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, to, to like I didn't go what? Yeah, it, what do you mean? I, what do you mean? It's on John Chris page. Yeah. It's not. This I don't, fate, look, Facebook. Look, it's not. I need to talk to you. like, dude, you don't <laughs> think I knew about this? God's you, like, it's okay. We yeah. get it. We get it, dude. You don't Hackers think, hack. Yeah. But also, I would say in defense of followers, um, if I'm allowed to do that, you are allowed to do that too. Do what? Unfollow somebody based on what their content is. Oh, yeah, dude. You, I can't get mad at any of them. And somebody that's religious and they, I don't want anything to do with this, mm -hmm. me or not, that's allowed. Yeah. That's allowed. Well, in four days, like after the second, yeah, you'd be like, "All right, dude." I mean, um, I would get off the train sometime too. Yes, I can, mean, you can get back on. Please do. Yeah. but or or I don't know. Yeah, sure, that's fine. You're <laughs> what good. has uh, what has Candace had to say about this? Has she oh, released a statement. Uh, they no. <laughs> <laughs> she but released she, an apology video she, from the kitchen. We were our our uh, yeah with the wood panel background. Yeah, our team reached out to hers, and there she's like, "Yep, yeah, this has been." A nightmare for us. Why Lawyers. her? Yeah, I don't know. Why are they using Candace Cameron's podcast? Well, it's she's, no offense to Candace, but well, it's not the biggest show on earth. But I think that if like Rogan, yeah, I would be like, no. Uh, Do you think so? She's big enough for it to be meaningful. Yeah, that you'd respond, but small enough that it's not unrealistic. Yes. Okay. I think that's perfect. Actually. She's yeah. They nailed it. Yeah, because well, who like, else was on the board? Do you yeah, think? Because that they, yeah, because if you're Christian, yeah, because if you're Christian, I mean, I'm. The faith tie-in for me is what made sense. But if right. you're not, you're still from Full House and Hallmark. For People sure. Know, and she does have a podcast that's big. Mm -hmm. huh, I wonder if it's her whole network. Because that whole... Because like nobody could do that to us because we don't reach out to guests like that. Yeah. But her whole... That whole Access More network. Yeah. Maybe they're all... Somebody could pose as us, though. And I think that's yeah. most, that's what happened. So somebody could pose as Legos Creative and be like, oh. "Hey, we oh yeah work with a bunch of big podcasts. We John like, Chris is yeah, one of them. We, like, we yeah. like they could easily do that. Sure, don't do that. Don't let do that. I was thinking, <laughs> let's do that. No. <laughs> we'll hack other people's pages, post my tour dates. Yeah, <laughs> they're like what, <laughs> and then log out. It's never yeah. We're, we're innocent. We were yeah. never there. <laughs> it is all. It is all like. Uh, I mean, I was listening to. Uh, I was listening to. Uh, Tucker on Theo. Yeah. And he's like, dude, any like act of like terrorism, like going forward is going to be digital. Mm. Like there's not going to fly a plane into a, but it's going to, if you want to create chaos in this country, there's like, dude, t if you take down the power. Yeah. I think, I think Hamas says, hold my beer, but yeah. Yeah. Maybe, or the, what are you going <laughs> to, yeah. 
you going to run a truck into a, a parade uh, yeah. like and kill 20 people? If, like if you want to create mass chaos in this country. Yeah. There's a difference here. The bi- I mean, the, the biggest co- fear the is like phones, the power grid, right? The power or the phones or the or the financial system. Yeah, or the drinking water. Yeah, yeah. That the, not. But stop giving people ideas. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. this is just the terrorism. Like, where'd you hear that? Brainstorm. Uh, net positive. <laughs> yeah. Oh baby, what you want to do? Get into the news? Oh manscaped. Yeah. I don't even have to talk about them because I am about them. It's true. And I saw a manscaped commercial on TV. Yeah. And I was proud. Love that, dude. Oh, yeah, I was proud. I've seen some AG1 commercials. We're still rocking with some Halloween copy here, too. Pete uh, Pete Davidson is in a Manscaped commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Good for, hey, we out here. I love it, dude. You want me to, I'll, you want me to, I'll, ch- I'll change it to here. I'll change all this copy to Christmas. Yeah, in private. Go all ahead. Right. It may be Christmas season, but you don't want to <laughs> excite people. It says scare. Excite people with your straggly beard, unless you're Santa Claus. Nice. Nice. Give them something to look at with Manscaped. Oh, yeah. Are you tired of... (laughs) Oh, yeah. I like Manscaped so much. Uh, Are you tired of bad razor uh, with making your neck like a scary movie? Scary movie or a scary movie? A scary movie. Not the scary movie. Right. Different. That'd be copyright infringement. With a hand, handyman skin safe technology, that's what I got, baby, to help reduce nicks and cuts. And you can finally feel confident when you're going that close for a shave, unless you are Santa Claus. If they come back with holiday and it's not related to Santa Claus, we're off this guy. Okay. The copyright. We want a new writer. We still love Manscaped. Yeah. We're, we're uh, protesting. Yep. Uh, and for my Wolfmen, oh yeah, with a little more scruff, Manscaped Beard Hedger <laughs> Pro Kit has everything you need for your mane. We just baby. abandoned the Christmas theme completely. Well, I don't see it in there. I don't, I don't see it in there. Oh, Wolfman. <laughs> Wolfman's Halloween? <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. shoot, dude, you're right. All right, hold on, let me get oh, back yeah. to it. Oh, yeah, baby, Wolfman with beards. That's right, your Christmas costumes may take effort. <laughs> but- <laughs> But beer grooming doesn't have to when you can get 20 different beard lengths all the way from uh, baby skin soft all the way up to Santa Claus. <laughs> See that? Nice, dude. Killed Come it. on, baby. Dude, sweet. There's no um, uh, stocking with this stuffer. <laughs> Manscaped has you covered. Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. Nice. Wow. I changed that from no trick to there's no trick with this treat. Dang, dude. I, they should, I should work for them. You really should. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code NETPOSITIVE at manscaped.com. It's 20% off with the free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code NETPOSITIVE. This, A, all jokes aside, get this. Yeah, get this. For This is the best gift. guy. Yes. Because it's not like you're getting him something annoying, like razor blade. This is like, you can actually, like, what I, it's, you can do more stuff. This is one of the most versatile things I own. It's like getting a bike. But then, like getting a bike with like gears, mm. you're like, oh, I can like, wow, nice, do more stuff now. Yeah, like everyone takes care of their face somehow. Mm-hmm. Everybody does at the base level. These things now you can go up. Now you can do different shapes. You can different. You can do a uh, different guards. I go thinner up here, looser up out here. I got the right. Ra- I go. Yep. Yeah. And we're plugging the we're plugging the handyman for this one, but like they have so many different products yeah for all type of men's grooming stuff they're amazing and Go it's cool it. and it's cool if you open up like a narelk or like a like a you go oh, a different blades. brand yeah. like something you get at, anything you get at cvs you go oh yes the presentation of this oh we got something. you know what it's like yeah. uh it's like when you open up a new apple product yeah and it's dude. like it's a great unboxing experience great unboxing, top tier unboxing. that's what manscaped is a lot of the best uh influencer packages sent to my house are Tremendous unbox because mm-hmm. I know people are going to unbox them. Yes. Tremendous unboxing experience. Yeah. Manscaped. Manscaped, baby. Get em. We out here. Let's get to the Nero, Nero hacker, uh, Qualia Senolytic, baby. Nailed it. Have you heard about Senolytics, Andrew? Oh, yeah. It's a class of ingredients. Let me tell you about it. It's discovered <laughs> less than 10 years ago, and they've been calling it the biggest discovery of our time <sighs> promoting healthy aging. You don't want to turn out like Santa Claus in your 30s. Nice. Enhancing you and your physical prime, uh, your life goals and your career and beyond require productivity like Santa in the North Pole. Mm. But let's be honest, the aging process, I mean, talk to Santa about this. It's not your friend when it comes to endless energy and productivity. Yep. Uh, Someone would have told me that there were science-backed ingredients that could help someone feel 15 years younger in a matter of months. I I wouldn't have believed it. Mm. Quality, Qualia Senolytic is that product, baby. As we age, basically, as it was described to us, 
uh, everybody accumulates senescent cells in the right. body. Yep. Well, the senolytic also, or those zombie cells are old and worn out and they're not serving useful function. So replace them, baby. This is how Santa's lived so long, probably. No, it really has, dude. It really has. He has no senescent cells. None. 100 day money back guarantee. Resist aging and at the cellular level. Try Qualia Senolytic, NeuroHacker.com slash net positive for up to $100 off. Use the code net positive and check out additional, additional 15% off. Big deal. Oh, yeah. NeuroHacker.com slash net positive for 15% off. Hit the link in the episode description. Nice. Oh, we got some fangs to talk about, to, John. Let's keep our time. What time are we at? We are at about 40. All right. Let's get to the news. Okay. Let's, you want to we go to, uh, let's go to, uh, oh, God. Where do you want to go? We've man? been on this a lot recently with the uh, people stopping the shows. Yes. I said uh, that, that uh, comedians doing crowd work or something wild happening in the crowd is a good way to get on the algorithm. Right. If you're Kenny Chesney and you're just playing your songs, that's not going to turn up in the algorithm unless right. something wild happens at the show. Mm-hmm. Peyton Manning comes out. Uh, somebody, uh, something, if the screen falls. Yes, pyrotechnics that, catch fire. Something bad happens. That's getting on the algorithm. Right. You are getting on the algorithm. Mm-hmm. So I've seen a rise, and I don't think anyone else has discussed this prior to me, Right, is that I think musicians are stopping shows a lot now mm-hmm. to get on the algorithm. Yes. Just to, strictly to get on the algorithm. And we've seen, we've seen, uh, obviously, if there's like a fight, if there's a sign, we got to get rid of this. We got to, right? Mm-hmm. And this, perhaps the most egregious, is uh, one of our favorites, by the way. <laughs> What's her middle name? Do you know? Jane? Um, Taylor Swift, ladies and gentlemen. Taylor Allison. Taylor Allison Swift. Of course it is, dude. Taylor Allison Swift. Um, let's watch the clip. Okay, here we go. There's people that need water. There's people that need water. Like um, maybe 30, 35 feet, 40 feet back. They're holding up phones that say we need water. Pause. So whoever. <laughs> what? Holding up phones that say we need water. We need water. What? The t- two, two. To someone that has shaped the United States economy with her <laughs> tour, with billions of dollars, and flies private everywhere, and is not the the I the most recognizable and famous person on the planet currently, <laughs> and some idiot is holding up a sign, no, not even a sign, a cell phone. You know the cell phones, and yes. But the we need water. The fact that she can see that is kind of crazy. We need water. I mean, I immediately think, are they though? Are there people out there holding up signs that say we need water? Hey, you're in a stadium. Yeah. And and by the way, there's no pit at Taylor. Right. There is. Everybody has a seat. Mm-hmm. If you're in the pit for Morgan and you run in at noon to get all the way up to the to, on the bar, that's what Ernest was talking about. Yep. You got to stay there. Right. If you got to pee, you just pee there. Yep. You're up there. Yep. There's every pl- every seat. Everyone has a seat. Mm-hmm. If you need water, <laughs> you can go. <laughs> You're like, I need water, but I can't. I, I don't want to miss shake it off. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Also, what all the the most natural, the most common natural resource on earth, right? Is what if I if I see I need a vodka soda, I would stop the show for that. <laughs> Get this stop man a for cocktail. Me. Also. Hold on, let's watch the end of it. Yeah. Let's watch it. Her is in charge of giving them that. Pause. No one, no, no one, one yeah. is in charge of giving people water. There's one person who is. It's the person who's working at the concession stand, yeah. and they have to go to them to go and get And it's three fifty, And they'll give you that. Yeah, and they will give you as much as you want. Yeah. Keep going. Make sure that that happens. Can I get a signal that you know where they are? I hate that. I hate that. That sounds so condescending to me. Because she's talking to the event staff. Yeah. Whose job is not this. And and by the way, who if you're at whatever stadium, this is the biggest event. This is the this one. This is it. And yeah. you have a thousand other things, a thousand other things, security, scheduling. But I mean, she goes into like mommy mode here. Yeah. Can you give me a signal to show me that you know what you're doing? Nod. Can you yes. nod? Yes. yes. Can you use your words and say yes? <laughs> Can you confirm, please? Thank you. Keep going. Oh, God. Do you see the phones? 
Is it is it good? Are they getting to you or not? We'll wait. It's fine. Pause. We know, dude. I paid five thousand dollars <laughs> to be in here. To sit. we're not waiting, dude. We're not waiting. I paid $5,000. I have 97 bracelets on. I planned my outfit four months in advance, personally tailored it, drove seven hours to get here, waited in a pre-sale line for a day and a half. Spent another 400 on merch. And you're down there. Mm -hmm. You're not in section 300. You're up front. Yep. You are that girl that's taking this spent no less than five thousand dollars on these tickets. <laughs> and also, by the way, there is a curfew in every single one of these cities that if you go over it, you have to pay in the tune of hundreds of thousands to million dollars. And Taylor Swift did that once in, in Nashville. Nashville yeah. When it went over, she's like, to reschedule this is gonna cost more. We'll just break the city ordinance. Mm -hmm. But you're like, they're like, we're going to rock out here forever. Some band, they're like, no, they're not. There's somebody <laughs> is on the side. They were like, hey, yeah. and you can rock out forever, but it's going to cost you. They're like, yeah, I even, we even do that at our shows. They're like, hey, the union is very, you can't go over by a minute. Yep. So the longer they wait, I only know Shake It Off. What's another song? Oh, gosh. Dude. Uh, write Your Name. Write Your Name. Write your name. They're scratching things off the playlist. The longer this goes on, <laughs> they go, nope. Bring up Taylor Swift, Spotify. I got it. They go, Taylor nope. Swift songs. That's not going to work. Here's That's a bunch. Gonna... Cruel Summer. Uh, Cruel Summer. Gone. We'll wait. Lover. Gone. Love Story. Gone. I knew you were in trouble when you didn't have water. It's gone. Blank space. Not blank right space. Here. Yep. Gone. You belong with me. Gone. The, the tour manager is just sitting on the side going. Yeah. TikTok. He is. We'll wait, but is I would be so furious, dude. <laughs> Keep going. Is there more? Yeah. It's a, <laughs> Do you see that? It's right. It's sorry. It's just it's very hot. So when somebody says they need water when it's this hot, they really need it. Pause. Do you see says who? 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 Yeah. So what, what do you mean you need it? What do you mean you need water? I've been at a thousand events. Go get it. Yeah. <laughs> Whose job is it? Yeah. Whose job is it to bring you water? No <laughs> ones. No ones. <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen that? Uh, have you ever seen that? Um, I guess it was in the movie. In the um, like Queen, like in the 80s. Yeah. Those shows. Yeah. And there's like those like baseball stadiums yes and just a sea of people yeah imagine hold on yet we all need who needs water everyone Eighty thousand of <laughs> us dude and this has to be it's probably female mm -hmm. it's probably young female mm -hmm. thinking i mean just the idea that you like typed that mm -hmm. and we're like I can't even can I have a conversation with you. I look at it too, and I'm like, "You're uh, you're irresponsible. You didn't plan ahead. Whoever yeah. this is, who's asking for the water? Like, Bro. hey, we all thought this through. We all yeah. got waters. Hey, you know, you ever been where like, hey, um, okay, the uh, I went to the Preds game. There's two intermissions. Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll wait till the end of this. At the intermission, we'll go. Hey, when there's an opening band, or when there's a uh, you go after if you want to see the headliner. If you got to go to the bathroom. Or you got to get, you ever gotten two drinks? Mm -hmm. You go, I'm going to be, I'm not, I don't want to leave the seat again. Right. I want to stay for this whole show. Yes. And I understand that the big Taylor Swift fans. We love Taylor Swift on this podcast. Of course. Of course. But also it's a three hour show, is it not? So yeah. like there's definitely intermissions. There's no way she's playing three hours straight um, music. I, I, but yeah, there's a, there's, if you don't want to miss something, mm -hmm. I mean, there's one of the, you know, there's like, uh, like those like pee bags. Yeah. I mean that's the extreme, but if you want, or there's I've, I saw actually I saw some stuff about people wearing adult diapers at her shows. Yes, prison. That's Put them in prison. <laughs> that's uh, absurd. Yes. <laughs> go to the go to the go to the. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give you an easier way. Go. You tell me the Taylor Swift. Um, the set list is usually popping around everywhere. For sure, right? you can find it online. Yeah. yeah, you can find it online. Go to the one you don't want, the, the one you like the least. Yeah. And if there's not a song that you don't love as much as missing one 
if this is just as much as water, <laughs> there's your sign. Yeah. You there's your here. sign. I guess you die in the sea. Yeah. If there's no Taylor, <laughs> if you love Taylor Swift songs more than living, then. Then that's that. But don't stop the show, Taylor. Right. Let them die. Yeah. <laughs> that's extreme. Yeah. But you want to play the rest of it? Is Shh, I don't right? know what the rest of it is. What is, is it? This, do you see it? Are we good? We don't need to chant. It's already chanting water. Everybody's chanting water. Come on. Hold on. Dude. Rewind that. Rewind that. They're chanting water. We don't need to chant. It's yeah. totally fine. We just need to get water to them. Is anyone at all here? Oh, now it's anybody. Water. You got it? Give up your water. Socialism. Can you see them now? Okay. It, it's coming. Amazing. Run it back, boys. Back to the music. She just, she just gets fed up at the end. She's like, it's coming. See you guys. Also, she also, cared so much at the beginning. And then when it yeah. didn't happen as quickly as she wanted, she was like, ah. Yeah, because the tour I'm, manager was I'm going in too deep here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is this what it's like to just be a common peasant? You have yeah. to wait for things? Also, uh, yeah, yeah. And, the, and, and, and if you're at the, if you're at the, let's say there was a, a tour manager or someone, a staff, you know, the people in the yellow jackets. Uh -huh. Let's say there was. Yeah. Where's the water? Right. Where are they going to get it? To the same place? You're yeah, going to go yeah. buy it. The concessions there. Get, get, go. I yeah. would get her and I would send, I would take her to the concession stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would, so this like, is where you can get Escort it. her <laughs> to the concession stand. Yeah. This is insane. So dude. this is a stand. They hey, sell water. So they, so you have your credit card, right? Because you paid $5,000 to get in here. Right. So you do have a credit card. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. The here it slippery is. slope that this is now is because this is the second video that I saw of this, and she's like touring in like South America or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the other video, she just goes side stage and picks up a bottle of water and just chucks it into yeah. the stands. Oh yeah. And oh, now Taylor Swift is so big. Yeah, everybody's gonna do that. Now everyone's gonna do that just because yep. they know they're gonna be able to get your attention. Dang, that's a great point. Also. Uh, they should be holding up. We need water signs to Mr. Beast because <laughs> oh, yeah. he's on a. a he's nice, giving people dude. water. Right he's like, now. I'm the water guy. They picked the wrong influence. I'm the water guy. Yeah, that's my thing. He's outside digging wells. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, I'm doing it in Argentina. Yeah, right? <laughs> you guys told me not to bring anymore. Remember, you got mad at me, and now you want Taylor. Oh, no, now water. you want water. Oh, okay, <laughs> dude. All right, all right. I'll get back to digging. That's Mr. Beast. Yeah, I'll get back to digging like Mr. Beast did. Any yeah. manual labor is great. I'll get back to digging. Yeah, dude. Also, <laughs> who like how far we already spent way too much time on this topic, but <laughs> yeah. how far, how many steps at any point is Taylor Swift from a bottle of water? At any point? Where is she? If no she, more than if I she's mean, way out on the catwalk. That's the furthest ever. But she has the the closest access to water. Well, and actually, even out on the catwalk, there's still people around her who would die to give her their water. So she's not well, even. She's far gonna from get water. a bottle from the stand. She could. How far is An she from a bottle of water? You yeah, know? It's, it's like a. Because if it's a life and death, you don't care if somebody else has drank it. Right. Here's half a bottle. Yeah. So the person next to you. Right. So what? What kind of water are they? What kind of scale of water do they want? Right. If they have enough energy to type up, we need water. Yeah. Well, and then I'm also thinking like, uh, okay, so they're just on Molly hey, and hey, like they need this, water. You like get this <laughs> screenshot for the uh, episode. <laughs> We need water. <laughs> no. Nailed it. Yeah. Mark that timestamp. We need water. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Well, I hope they I hope they got water. Hope they got water. I hope they got water. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable. Let's go, dude. I like the. I like the. Uh, let's go to the real or ridiculous. Okay. And wait, hold on. I haven't yeah, seen this. Tee it up. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's. I just saw the look. I, I can't tee it up. I'm sorry. You're right. You have not and, seen and this I, video. I, actually, I saw a thumbnail and I go, yeah. You just know generally what it is. Let's play it. Okay. Here we go. It's 36 seconds. My free page right now is all about the pandemic skip. So it's this theory that psychologists made, and I could be getting this wrong, do your own research, but um, that like whatever age you were when the pandemic started is like where you're at mentally. So like, because three years were wasted. So these women that were like 27 when the pandemic started, and then it's three years later and they're 30 and everyone around them is having kids. They're like, oh my God, I'm not ready to have kids. I'm still young. I'm 27. And it's this total difference of like ages and stuff. And so I feel like we were in our early 20s when the pandemic started and we took a big chunk of like the early 20s figuring your life out phase and now we're 27 and we're still figuring it out. Okay. 
<laughs> wow. Those are Andrew's claps, by the way. If you listen on audio, they're Andrew's claps. Your thoughts, sir, on the pandemic skip, real or uh, ridiculous? I'm not a psychologist. Do your own research. Yeah, we will. Yeah. And no. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, I don't want to watch that again. Okay. That was great. We can play it back. I enjoyed that. There you go. My For You page right now is all about the pandemic skip. I like so the it's, acoustic okay, guitar. Pause, pause, pause. That's My For You page. Okay. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> Mine has none of that. Mine has none of that. Have you ever seen it? No, I've never seen it. There's Andrew. Nope. Nope, never seen it. Okay. Yeah, we were, right. we were at Jobs. Uh, so, so we, we have different it. For You pages. Our For You pages uh, didn't show that no. at all. <laughs> uh, so it's a theory. Hold on. So it's a theory. Yeah. A theory, quote, it's a theory that psychologists made up. <laughs> That's direct quote. Hold on. And then, wait, it's a, th- it's, a, it's, a th- it's a theory that psychologists made up and then and then play the next uh-huh. two psychologists seconds. Psychologists made, and I could be getting this wrong, do your own research. But yeah, um, uh, you are. Yeah. <laughs> I could be getting this wrong. You are. Uh, I like when people say do your own research because it's a very quick way that I yeah. learned that you didn't do your own research. Yeah. Because you're trying a, to yeah, cover yeah, yourself because yeah, your you don't know if yeah. this is real or not. Yeah, trust the science. If you did yeah. your own research, you wouldn't have to say do your own research because you would know that it's real or it's not. I don't know, psychologist. Psychologist <laughs> made it up. But who's the psychologist? Your roommate? Yeah, yes, the yeah. she's a psych major. <laughs> oh, oh, different. Oh, gotta, well, gotta, she's going to be a, she's right. gonna be a psychologist. Sure. And with the pandemic skip, uh, she would have been already by now. Yeah, so she, she would have been. Yes, she still. Yes. I mean, okay. First of all, where were you living? <laughs> that the pandemic was three years. Yeah. <laughs> Where were you living, dude? And the, and and I would say I've seen some people that the pandemic is still going on for them. Yeah. Have you seen these people? Yeah. Nashville was three months. Yeah. Three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Broadway was closed for. We flattened the curve here. <laughs> yeah. We said two weeks. And, All right, we said out. the curve's not coming yeah. here. I mean, we're I didn't. coming outside. In terms of outside of getting on an airplane. You're talking about adjusting my way of life four months. Oh, dude, I flew to L.A. in May. No, I'm saying outside of going other places. Like, sure. Because getting on an airplane, there was distancing, which not in the planes, which is insane. Right. So I guess it wasn't life and death. But like uh, going to other places where there are – we live in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Maybe – I mean, it started in 2020, right? Yeah. March. Maybe. I mean, come like the, when was the Omicron at the, at the end of 2020? No idea. Three years is crazy. Three years is nuts. That's absurd. But I, there's, a, there's, there's no way you could explain that to me that I would go, yeah, that makes sense. No way. Also, if you are in like an isolated situation, I don't think your brain just like stops developing. Yeah. I think you continue to <laughs> like grow and, and, as and, a human. And I would also say, I would also say there are, thousands of people who whose business and or personal enterprise or family or uh t- absolutely went through the roof successful uh, yeah. Yeah. successful yeah Big time. me included you included. me included for sure yeah that we're like if everybody else is like hey i'm gonna mail it in i was like dude we can make videos yeah we can make in our career my career went through the roof by the way three years would take us to now it's 2023 well, take us to now. So, dude. like, are you just getting outside today? That's great. And, and so, if anything you did from those three years, like, that's a good point, <laughs> dude. I, I that <laughs> makes zero sense. That makes zero sense. Three years, three years, and you're still like, I. And, and also, shout out to any girl who's like 27 is now feeling old. Yeah, She's dude. Like, <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> Dang, dude. And everybody's having kids. And now I'm like, or shout out to a girl that's 30 and single. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. I thought I was doing good. Dude, dude you're you know? fine. That's, I mean, my goodness. Hold on. Keep, I don't watch it. Yeah. Whatever age you were when the pandemic started is like where you're at mentally. So, like, so how old are you? 39. And so when the pandemic started, you were 36. So you're still 36. I just turned 36. Dude, I wouldn't give up. I wouldn't want to redo these last three years at all. No. I mean, it was unbelievable. I wasn't just sitting around and waiting for it. This literally means, though, that 39 is the new 36. Oh, let's go, dude. Which is great. No, no I'm back on her side. Yeah, I'm so we're good now. Side. Yeah, I got it. Like, mm-hmm. Because three years were wasted. So these wasted. women that were like 27 when the pandemic started. Hold and on, then pause. Three- why, why, why were they wasted? Yeah, and why, were, why was it women? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> These women. Whoa, what about the dudes? Wait, this is sexist. What about now? us? What do you yeah. mean? Oh, because th- they're the only ones, I mean, uh, fertility wise. They're used to being like at, at home in the kitchen anyway. So I don't know what the problem is. Why is <laughs> so, uh, there's the, listen, <laughs> there's so much time for like learning recipes. Yeah. And like, yeah. we're not doing this joke. We're not doing this. <laughs> so dumb. Dude. Three years later and they're 30 and everyone around them is having kids. They're like, oh my God, I'm not going to pause. Kids. Well, what, what were they? What, were they? <laughs> what was the everyone around them doing? <laughs> Moving on with their lives. Having kids. Yeah. What was the everyone? And, and now they look Wait, up. That's so they, funny, dude. It completely de- debunks the entire. And argument. everyone around him now has jobs and like has careers and owns a home. It's like, crazy. Oh, yeah, more financially stable has developed mentally in massive ways, and they just feel left behind. Everyone around them. because everyone around them <laughs> has moved on except them. Except them. Maybe you're the problem. It's pandemic. What is it? They called the, the pandemic, pandemic skip. Pandemic skip. Skip the pandemic. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Kids, I'm still young. I'm 27, and it's this total difference of like ages and stuff. And so I feel like. We were in our early 20s when the pandemic started and we took a big chunk of like the early 20s figuring your life out phase and now we're 27 and we're still figuring it out. I'm 31 and I'm still figuring it out. John? I'm I'm still figuring it out. Okay. All right. I'm 39. I'm still figuring it out. Keep figuring it out. We all did it. We all <laughs> took this chunk of your like the, what we all had the same chunk taken out, man. You elected yeah. to make yours three years. I don't, for think, whatever no, I don't think anything was taken out. <laughs> no, that's I agree. like that's like getting like, uh, like I don't know. Like I like a, back to the Facebook thing. I lost these, five, so now I'm set. But it, I don't know. It's not a. You could look at it that way. Yes. I do. I have. I built this empire. I got it, a portion of it taken, or in a full sense of gratitude, dude. I made all this money and from that site for nothing. Right. They didn't owe me anything. Mm-hmm. You don't. Get, you're not owed a good economy, or a good yeah, a degree, or everyone else has a family. You're not owed anything. Yeah, you're not owed anything. And if you feel like you are, yeah, you should feel like you were owed the freedom to make your own decisions. Yeah, and you decided. Yeah, to make your pandemic three years. You decided and to not that. do anything with that time. And but look, but. I get what this she's. Is, I, I get what I she's saying, too. but you can I immediately explain it away. You can immediately explain it away, and look at how look at how um, look at the 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 opposite of this way of life. Mm-hmm. This is an easy. This is a a fun worldview to be a part of because mm-hmm. you don't have to look yourself in the mirror. Absolutely, and look at what the opposite of that is. Is oh, three years ago. And I am now three years have gone by and I'm in the, I got to look myself in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to do that. Yeah. Nobody wants to do that. Dude, I can't believe she said everyone around you is moving on and having kids. And getting married and. <laughs> <laughs> One of these things. Just everyone around me along here. is moving around, getting kids, uh, dr- drinking water. I mean, everybody's getting it. Yeah. And I'm still <laughs> stuck here with nothing. Let's do the uh, Chick-fil-A protest. Wild. Oh, we had a good protest sent in, and this is they 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 got us at home. They got us at home. They man. got us on our home court. Yep. This is in a Chick Fil A. Mm-hmm. Do you want to play the audio? I can just do the audio. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I know I know what they're saying, but yeah. you can play a little bit. Of okay. It. He's joking. These animals are born in cage. Chick fil A murders 2 million. Just like us. Just like us. Okay. This is the dumbest protest we've seen yet. Why do they dress like this? This is so. Why does that guy's voice sound? Describe it to those listening. It's like, dude, you're dressed. And to those like, listening, you should be like, watching. Dude, you like applied to work at a Hot Topic mm-hmm. and they said, you're not qualified. Yeah. And they're like, well, I'll just go protest then. Nice. You got the black outfits with they look like with the bl- sunglasses, black jeans, a mullet. I don't even know what gender that person is. I mean... Well, the protest is that cows want to live. Therefore, cows want to we live. should all be vegetarian. I guess we are all. Yeah, uh, you should be vegan. But uh, 
I looked at some of these comments. Yeah. You want to hear them? Yeah, read them off. <sighs> 6,000 likes. They're starved for attention and nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was somewhere they could go. And nutrients is great. <laughs> <laughs> Vegans are just unemployed, bored people. Change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Studies show. <laughs> I'm not a psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> Do your own research. <laughs> Animals are eaten every day, 24-7. Go protest the bears and lions. Fair. Yeah. I don't think bears eat other bears don't eat meat. Do well, they? we don't pay attention to animal on animal crime. You know that. We don't do oh, that. Yeah, we don't care about that. Don't oh, they eat fish. Mm -hmm. Bears eat meat. Do they eat meat? Yeah, yeah. they eat salmon. Dude. No, they don't eat meat. What? A bear yeah. would eat a wolf. Black bears don't eat meat. They eat a deer? Yes. No, black Grizzlies bears. Do. Yeah, grizzly bears will destroy anything. Not to eat. Like yes. a hippo will kill somebody Google in protection. This. Bro, Andrew's very passionate a about this subject, as eats, am I. A, bla a black bear is we'll an eat, herbivore. Will eat a deer. No, it won't. A black <laughs> That's bear, what I'm saying. I'm dude, saying of course they will. What are you talking about? Black bear. Yeah. Tell me. American black bears are omnivorous. Okay. Which means they will eat a variety of things, oh. including plants and meat. Dang it. Wait, I was thinking that they, I was thinking. Yeah, I think, they we, were, don't. I think were, we were agreeing. On the, yeah. And we're wrong. <laughs> he was just passionately wrong. agreeing on the wrong yeah. thing. Confident uh, wrongness. Dude, they're killing machines. They're, I know they're that. minivans with but teeth. But like hippos do that, but they don't, like giraffe or right. elephants don't eat meat. I was right. really confident in that. Right. Now they could kill you. For sure. Out of self-defense, but mm -hmm. they're not going to eat you. Yeah. They could trample you. That won't stand up in court either. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, lions for sure. Lions eat. Yeah, protest them. Yeah. Here we go. A goal of mine in life is to see one of these happen and eat in front of them. <laughs> like just walk in, buy 20 tendies. I would buy two. There it is. <laughs> you knew this was coming. Go ahead. I would buy two 60 nugget trays and look them all in the eyes as I devour 120 <laughs> nuggets. Am I a bad person? Maybe. No, I like that. I, was, I saw somebody joke one time that they go, uh, some the person in front of me was like a vegan, and they ordered it very like, "Hey everybody!" Like, uh, and yeah. so he ordered two burgers and threw one away, just to <laughs> just, just to, to cancel out their meal, <laughs> just to cancel out the good that they think they have found. Yeah. Oh, you think you accomplished something here? I got extra. I'm gonna order two. I just want one. I'm gonna order two and throw. He, I think he said that. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna order two and throw one away just because I don't like what she was doing. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> For a dollar seven. <laughs> All this will make me want to order double. Yeah. 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 And also, uh, what, go to the very top. Uh, where is that one comment? Not in the Lord's house. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it came after our own people. Yeah. Somebody said that they probably don't, uh, they probably uh, have no problem with abortion. Oh, yeah. That one's right here. Whoops. Same people are okay with abortion, it says. Whoops. That's illegal, right? Because you can't, like, Whoops. the Chick-fil-A just kick them out. Inside, I think so. Yeah, it's like yeah. private property. I would just, gosh. Yeah, I don't think they can do this inside. Yeah, they can't. Could they, could they hit them? I don't think so. Dude, so they're, are, they're with PETA? Or they're yeah, just, they're with PETA. They're with they're vegan <laughs> chickens or animals, too. Like it's a, So after they go to the Chick-fil-A, they're just going to go to the next restaurant on yeah. the street? Because all of them are cooking yeah, meat. Yeah, go everywhere. So yeah. You're just protesting restaurants now? We're protesting just eating meat, period. They're, they're against the eating of the chickens. So they're, they support the cows. They're with the cows. Why? The cows. Don't the, isn't that their slogan? Oh, Chick-fil-A. The, cow, the right. cows are like, eat more chicken. Yes. Because they don't want to die. Right. Well, everybody knows it's easier to kill a smaller animal. Yeah. The smaller the animal, the easier, easier to kill. Yeah. yeah. And the better the meat. Right. Less of it. But. Right. Wait, so the cows, the Chick-fil-A is like, yeah, we're, go outside on the street corner with the cow. <laughs> <laughs> He's already doing this. Yeah. He's saying evil. They employ a protester full time. It's they, the cow. We already, we already done this bit. Our whole marketing We do is. it outside. Have you ever seen any of the billboards? <laughs> we do this. The cows have been protesting us for eight years. <laughs> they literally have a protester as their mascot. We started this. <laughs> They're like, oh, you guys are finally catching on. Great. The cow costume's in the back. Go ahead and throw one Here on. Here we go. Let's they should just hand so co cow costumes out to all the protesters. Keep the, uh, the same sign. Keep yeah. the sign. Same energy. Love this sign. Yeah. We just put this on. Do it outside. Thank you. And if you want to share, 
Hashtag Chick Fil A. Thank you so much. Hashtag Eat More Chicken. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is not in the store, but we love your energy. <laughs> the the HR manager comes out. I really like this. And then the guy's filming them and laughing. Love your energy. It's just a little misdirected. Let's put on this cow costume. Go out to the curb. No, because you can still feel good about yourself. Yes. It's perfect. You don't even have to look at what's on the sign. You just be mad because that's what you guys like to do. Yeah. You can just continue not forgiving your parents, and this will be perfect. You're perfect for this job. Meat is murder, says one of the signs. You hey, know. and stand out on the street corner and attract attention. You're perfect. Great. You're perfect. <laughs> Gosh, what an annoying group of people. And also, everyone uh, thinks that about you. Uh, uh, what do you want to get to? Uh, let's go to. Let's go to the. Let's get to the halftime. Halftime. I mean, I. Don't, Jack. Hunt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do the news. I don't. I mean. <sighs> Go ahead. We could only put this off for so long before we. Everybody we saw this. It. Okay, everybody saw Jack Harlow. It's gone. Oh, they took the video. Of course they did. Of course they did. Jack Harlow. Uh, was it the Lions? The Lions. Packers yeah, Detroit. Game. Yeah, it was probably the most uh, homeschool science project halftime show set I had ever witnessed. Mm -hmm. And obviously, everybody knows. That everybody links uh, lip syncs those. Mm -hmm. The most probably most mailed in. It's gone everywhere. No, I'm finding it. No, but okay, I've really looked into this. Yeah. Nobody knows who the guy in the back is. Really? I can't find anybody who can say who it is. Nobody knows? And mm -hmm. he came out with him and then left. Yep. Hold on, pause. Okay. All right. We don't have to pause. You can just keep watching, I guess. That guy left. Nobody knows who he is. He was wearing a Davy Crockett blue coonskin cap, mm -hmm. which. What is that? <laughs> He's like the cross between like a like a um, English uh, Parliament <laughs> and uh, the guy from Jamie. What's it on? Uh, uh, he tries to be white guy tries to be black. What that dad? I forgot what that guy's name is. Yeah, this is this is. I don't even know what this look is. I feel like he's a he's a British poet who got way too famous. That's it. That's a good way to do it. Yeah. And just like let the whole thing go to his head. Jack Harlow or the other guy? Jack Harlow. Yeah. And he goes, I don't, oh, I can just like, it's like, uh, there's a lot of this has happened when uh, you have comedians, very, very famous comedians, you give them a Netflix special mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I've been killing it. Mm -hmm. I'll just go up there and, and it's like, nope, <laughs> this is not it. This is the worst halftime performance Jack, set of all time. Of all, that might be all, 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 an all timer. I it's saw terrible. it everywhere. Somebody, uh, I saw somebody comment something about well, they really just gave him the inflatable Lowe's set. <laughs> it looks like that inflatable igloo that you get at Lowe's. And there's, no, there's no, okay, the cheerleaders are already there. Yep. So they don't count. They're right. already there. They've, and they've, they've practiced yes. more than him or the set director. Mm -hmm. They practice more than anybody. This is a dance they already have. They yeah. just did it to his song. He's doing just, yeah, he's like, he flew in, hung over. That's the same outfit he wore last night. Mm hmm. To wherever he was. I can't believe that this happened. Because how does he see the set and go, yeah, this is a good idea. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we'll do this. Somebody's got to be fired. Jack Harlow. Somebody's got to be fired. And I like Jack Harlow. So, yeah. He was, he's making fun of this too. If, sure. I, if I showed up and I was him and I saw that was the set, I'd be like, nope, scrap it. I'm doing the show in the stands with the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just doing just it. This, yeah. this is so bad. We have Figure to throw it, it away. Well, yeah. the other thing that was interesting about it is it's obviously not a show. Like, the set is for the the like TV broadcast. It's not for the fans. Oh, have you ever seen those? That's a good point. When the fans, yes. when you, the fans post, like, this is what we ordered, this is what we got. Yes. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, because on TV, it looks good when everything's in frame, yeah. but you and zoom out. Like, and he doesn't look anywhere but the, like, he's obviously being told what cameras to sing to and point at. And it's like, hey, they got they got some fog machines. And they were like, hey, do you have anything for the set? You're like, no. You're like, hey, what about that tarp when it rains on the field? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's just get, can you get some of that out here? Oh, yeah, that'll be perfect. The dry ice from the uh, freezer? Yeah. Just grab a whole bunch of that. Yeah. Bring oh, we that got out. The guy like the day before is like, wait, we got to do a halftime show? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And There's cross, a halftime tomorrow? cross that with the um, our Lord and Savior, yeah, dude, Dolly Parton, yeah, which was only made Jack look worse because they happened like back to back. Oh yeah, so and Jax Jack, came on and everybody's Jax, was like, "What is this?" And then at his peak, Dolly came out and it was like, "Oh dang!" And everybody goes, "Who's Jack Harlow?" Yeah, immediately. Yeah, Can Dolly's I budget a, looked a little different. I have a question. What does Ford Field? 
get to decide like what the set is going to be or is that Jack Harlow's decision? It's not Jack. It's neither. They, 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 the halftime, I got a friend that works and the halftime is done by a company. Okay. That puts so the on company events. is to blame. They puts on event. Yeah. I'm sure it never got to the NFL or Fox or the fee. It got to nobody. Which is crazy because they got it's to approve. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, surely. Maybe they don't approve set. Maybe they just approve like the show. I bet they would approve Jack Harlow. The music and the artist. I yeah. bet. Yeah. And then you guys, you guys take it from here. Yeah. And they're like. I mean, that's terrible. They're like, oh, you guys are only spending $4,200 on the whole halftime show? <laughs> yeah. There can't be much for us to approve. You're good. Yeah. We're go oh, yeah. Go ahead. You're saving yeah. us a lot of money. Go just for walking it. walking out. Yeah. Remember that Kanye did that. It went, remember the whole field was white? In no. The, where did he do this? He did that in the, uh, Kanye did that at uh, Mercedes Benz. Kanye Mercedes Benz. Is it a halftime show? No, it was uh, uh, his own show. Oh, Remember yeah. That? When he was doing that, it was just all white. Yes, the Donda yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so Whoopi Goldberg slams critics. Oh, so Whoopi Goldberg. So Dolly comes on then, and she not only has this phenomenal set behind her and all that, yeah. but also is wearing a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader outfit. Yeah, yeah. And the internet exploded, obviously, and there were some people who were critiquing Dolly for having hey. a revealing outfit at her age who this is what they said all right also slams critics just that's like a double negative just say supports <laughs> Wolfie goldberg supports dolly parton yeah yeah slams critics is the is it just builds weight all right yeah there it is apparently my turkey was the only subject online that people were hating that's whoopee so Save she's just, it. She's just talking way. about here it is, here it is. Some critics told her to act her age, bite me, is what Whoopi said. Well, that's not we're not talking about you, Whoopi. Yeah. I think Dolly looks great. I mean, that's not her, but it looks she looks great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not her, that's definitely not her stomach, right? No, it's it's a that's not her stomach. It's a fabric. She goes on Jimmy Fallon and she wears gloves on her uh, hands. Really? Uh huh. To make her hand and it they cut they cover the fingernails are on top of them. Because old hands are eighty-seven-year-old hands, you can tell. Interesting. You can tell, and then the, the whatever she's done, but that's not that's not a secret. Everybody knows that. Huh? Yeah. I didn't see it, but uh, she looked great. Yeah, I think she looks fantastic. If there's like a, uh, I'm trying to think of the a situation in like a in like a like a uh, where like a wife would be mad at you for looking at that. Oh yeah. You're like, how old is she? 77 i think seven you gotta be like and what what i wonder what's the cutoff of what when you're like all right that's not that's that she's 77 like you're allowed to check her out <laughs> yeah not check her out but like <laughs> dude, I, I had a buddy like in high school that when the cheer we were like very very fundamental christian yeah he would switch the channel when the cheerleaders were on were on <laughs> it's not funny dude yeah it is dude <laughs> it's hilarious yeah that's like you're off that's like you're off the hook like my Facebook. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, you're off yeah. The hook. Hey, they're part of the game. 77. Yeah. Yeah, you're off the hook. You didn't go look. You don't even no, seek it out. It's a halftime show. I watch I like the Falcons. Yeah. I'm like the team. Yeah. They they pan to them. This is sports. They pan. When when is you when are you off the hook they for like pan to them. They pan to them. <laughs> when are you off the hook for uh that what age? You think it's an age thing? Oh yeah, but if you are 65. Right. That's still in your window. Oh, so, so it's the age gap. Yeah, it's got to be the age gap. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're sitting there, sixty-five year old dude and the sixty-five year old wife, right? Really? Yeah. You bet. How long have you been looking at Dolly Parton our whole marriage? Right. Yeah. Since I met you, <laughs> yeah, you've yeah. been looking at Dolly, Dolly Parton has been a part of this entire marriage. <laughs> yeah, but you could go to any of us and be like, "What? Yeah, I didn't." So she looks good. I think she. Yeah. She looks could, great for could her be age. the turkey talking, but she looks good. Wait, dude, hold on. Is is great for your age a put down? Yes, it is. Yes, you look great for your age. Yeah, it's like saying you're smart for a woman. Dang, I didn't think about this. It's mean. You look great for your age. Yeah. I was thinking that about John just the other day. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> dude, nail Do him. I look good? Do you look great? Got him, dude. So if you go, <laughs> if I say, slam, dude. Dude, <laughs> how old are you? Twenty six. Oh. How old are you? 46. Oh, dude, you look great. Yeah. You look great for your age is a put down? Yeah. Yeah, because you must know the age. Right. And you're ranking it versus other people in that category. Right. Just say you look great, you know? You look great. Yeah, you look great. Thanks. Wait, I, this is funny. I'm going to read you something. Okay. 
I texted my cousin. Okay. I have one cousin mm -hmm. that uh, we see him every like five years. Love those cousins. Yeah. And he's the man. I'm not going to say his name because okay. it'd be funny. I said, so I texted him on Sunday night. Good to see you, bro. Right. This is after you saw him? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. He goes, yeah, man, I wish we could have caught up more. There's a million people there, right? Yeah. I said, <laughs> this is weird to say, maybe, <laughs> but a couple of us were talking about how well you've aged. And he's probably, he's probably 45. Okay. And I've known him my whole life mm -hmm. since he was a child. Yep. A couple of us were talking about how well you've aged. Out of everyone, bro, you look great. That might be a slightly gay thing to say, LOL. He's my cousin, but mm -hmm. I feel like I'd receive it as a compliment, so I figured I'd tell you. Okay. Should I have said that to him? Uh, sure. I don't think there's anything <laughs> wrong with Dude, it. He looks, he lo no, some people, he looks unbelievable. Yeah. Just, he like, you know, somebody he's like, his, why did you leave with this might be a weird thing to say? Yeah, why didn't I you just say that? You, <laughs> this is exactly what you tell people no, not to this. do. I know I did it wrong. I was like, a bunch of us were talking about you, right. looking at you, we're like, but we look good. And looking at you. We were scrolling through photos of you for like 10 minutes. Well, he was over there getting some chicken yeah. or yeah. some turkey or whatever. And I was like, dude, he looks. What did he say? <laughs> he blocked me. <laughs> I don't know. It's green. <laughs> I don't know. He said, see you in five years. I go, LOL, I'll go with compliment. Somebody at church <laughs> told me this morning that I look like a guy on Hallmark Christmas movies. Okay. Right. Thank you. That's, so he said what I was pump. trying to you're say good. better. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Now. He just like is he's like he's like uh lost some weight and yeah. like his hair is like gray, but like good gray. Mm -hmm. And I I would want to hear that. Yeah. I said, dude, a couple of us are talking. Yeah. You look great. Nice. To a man. That's fine. But he's my cousin. Yeah, that's yeah. a compliment. That's what I think. That's nice. That's We're working compliment. on doing more of those. That's uh, yeah, good. You, you just get, get rid of the preface. Don't yeah, do the, uh, yeah. hey, this might be weird to say. That's it. Just to say, hey, dude, you look great. Yeah. You look great. You want to hit saying that? You want to hit anything else here? Um, what do you want to go to one more? Sure. Do one more and then we'll hit comments. Uh, let's there's only do, a couple. Yeah. Uh, let's just go to the comments. We're good. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So, two comments this week. One of them is a uh, fact check. Okay. Um, certified Steph Ooh. says, Ooh. I feel like I need to mention John said Lincoln was assassinated in a movie theater. When exactly do you think he was president, my guy? My guy is a put down. My guy is a put down. My guy was She's unnecessary. Yeah. Certified Steph. Yeah. Certified, certified Steph. Certified. Was that was my guy necessary to put on the end? No, that's tough. Yeah, I said that to somebody this weekend. He's like, dude, you, uh, we're not gonna say it. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> I go, okay, my guy. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. my guy. Okay. I like my guy at the beginning though. And I was like, my guy. I my like guy that. at the beginning is good. My at guy the at the end, end is like, hey, check your facts, my guy. Yeah. yeah. Idiot. <laughs> that's Might as well thing. be that. Yeah. Thanks, Steph. Um, when was Lincoln assassinated? When? Yeah. Well before Marvel. 1800s. <laughs> nice, Andrew. <laughs> Lincoln assassinated 1800s. 1865. All right, when did movies come out? When did movie theater? When was the first movie theater? When? I'm not, I can't be off by that much. First movie theater. Take your guess. 1910. 1896. Yeah, but not at that movie theater. All right, I'm off by how many? 30 years. 30 years. 31 years. Abraham Lincoln wasn't going to the movies. Right. He was going to see a play. Right. In 1865. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yep. No, but it's probably a movie theater now. Look it up now. I bet it is now. Yeah, it's a movie theater. What is it? Peterson House, Washington, D.C.? Does the Peterson House, Washington, D.C. still exist? For sure. For sure. Peterson House, Washington, D.C. Can you yeah, imagine if it was still just exists. like an AMC theater? <laughs> yeah, it's AMC. Yeah. Mar it's only 3 3D. It's yeah. now Come called uh, Ford's Theater. No, Ford Theater. Peterson House. There you go. Of course, it still exists. I bet they play movies in there now. That's right. I'll give it to her, though. All right. Yeah, I was pretty confident in that. There you it's go. It's not a movie theater. All right, and then one more. This one says, uh, this is from Emily LaForge. She oh, said, is on, Andrew bro. still in high school? Dude. He looks so young. Read it again. I just clapped. Is Andrew still in high school? He looks so young. Let's go. A lot of comments about Andrew recently. How does that feel? Um, is she saying you look for good for your age? No, I think that that's a diss. <laughs> no, what? I'm receiving that as a diss. Is Andrew still in high school? He looks so young. What if she oh, said, young. is he still in college? Uh, a Closer. Okay. But like, I'm 26. So if someone's like, oh, dude, you look like you're 16. It's like, all right. Like Garrett. 
Yeah, like Garrett. Garrett looks young. Yes. Is Andrew still in high school? What if he said, is Andrew, what if this girl said, is Andrew still in high school? He looks great for his age. <laughs> That's a backhanded compliment. Still, I mean, closer, I guess. I mean, high school, they're trying to make a joke. Yeah, yeah sure. They're still in high school. They look so young. Yeah, high, right. high school's crazy. Is this a compliment? I think I thought it was, but now I look at it again. I don't know. The first half is definitely not a compliment. They, they had us in the first they half. They had us in the first <laughs> half. And then Jack Harlow came on. Yeah. <laughs> she said, he looks so young, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and she put a laughing emoji and a clap what's you know what? the clap uh, i think she's applauding herself for the joke she right just no, came this is a put down yeah she's high-fiving herself <laughs> xander still in high school he looks so young the uh did we read the comment the other day that you and i were texting about with kathleen no there was a comment Same that said something clip. that was like, uh, I'm so happy I watch now on the YouTube. There's oh, yeah. no way I thought that's what Andrew looked like. I thought he was like big and burly with a beard for sure. Really? I'm pretty sure they called. They described let me close it, my Hold on. Let me close my eyes. And they described this. it as like thick and husky. And I was like, mm. oh, what? Don't say mm to that. <laughs> no, no, I was going, mm -hmm, but my hands are covering. Hold on. Keep saying stuff, Andrew. No. <laughs> <laughs> What if they, yeah, they're like, dude, we thought it was, we thought Andrew was black. Yeah. And they're like, wow, really? They just have no idea what he looks yeah. like. In the meanwhile, nobody's surprised by what I look like, oh, which yeah. makes me think, you, I just sound exactly like I look. Your voice looks like that. Right. Like, what is yeah. that? What do I, is that an insult? Oh, that's what, oh, I imagined that's what yeah, you look like. That's exactly what I thought <laughs> you would look like. It's like. What do you mean, dude? Yeah, it's not good. Like, what? What Let's is go, that? Uh, <laughs> Look how comedian uh, Morgan is John Morgan, comedian John Morgan. This guy is unbelievable. All right, we're not going to tell you. I uh, might have to go to YouTube. Uh, my, oh yeah, all right, that's him, right? Okay. Uh, play that one. Play one of those clips. Play the first one. The first one's fifteen minutes long. Okay, we don't. Not the whole thing. I just want to hear what it sounds like. Excuse me, man. The white girl. Oh yeah. Excuse me, babe. Excuse me. Hey, talk to me, girl. Okay, excuse me. Close your eyes if you're watching. A shot of tequila and a Coke. How about that? Yes, indeed. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Good call. Black guy. I don't even right? We'll play right here. You know what I do to a little girl like that? I ain't one of those men that like to brag about shit I ain't doing no more. You understand? This is, is he doing a character? Or no, this is his voice. Like a can of peas. No, you ain't doing <laughs> You're gonna get your old ass out of bed, you bastard. All right. All right. Sorry, we now we're just censoring stuff. Right. Uh, that guy, that guy, it looks like a CPA. That guy, yeah. He wears a sport coat. Meanwhile, he definitely, his voice, on the other hand, yeah. comes from Louisiana for yes. sure. Black? Yeah, this guy's on, uh, what is that, Beale Street? Yeah, that's it. This yeah, guy's yeah. down there playing like, playing some jazz blues, music. blues guitar, blues jazz, something like sure. that, for sure. But I think if he dressed in like a, like a track, jacket they was like are you now you're trying to be yeah but he dresses in khakis and a sport coat yep and i've worked with him before nice and he murders so hard that's good dude. so hard yeah he he's like if you're like this is the voice of bb king's grandson i'd yeah. be like yeah definitely yeah you go, sure. oh that's what john morgan sounds like that's, that's what john morgan looks like that's crazy that's the best wow shout out dude i haven't thought we were in um ozarks we worked at the ozarks together at a bar Nice. In probably 2016. Wow. Let's go, baby. Uh, we got a big holiday schedule coming up. Big. Yeah, holiday's going to be big for big, us. Big, big, big. We got some guests coming in. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to do, I thought about this, we're going to do a full review of uh, all of our guests. Like a where are they now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what are they up to? I like That's it. Stuff I had an idea about because we've had so many guests over the year that have been great. And a lot of them have been going on to do unbelievable things. Big time. Oh, yeah, plus some surprises. Mm. Oh, net positive. We'll see you in episode 84. Baby. Weird. On the net, net, on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. On the net, it's a positive. <laughs>